So what's up everyone, welcome to another trick tutorial. Today I have two very important secret hacks for the tray flip that will help you on your journey to get your tray flips consistently. So firstly, a tray flip is a 260 shove it with a kick flip put together. For the requirements, you will need your ollies, your shove it's and your kick flips. Varial flips are not required for the tray flip and 360 shove it's are not required as well. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the foot positioning. So has to be front foot, similar to a kick flip position, and the back foot with your toes hanging out off of the edge of the board. Okay. And so for the foot positioning, the front foot doesn't really matter. A lot of people use their front foot in different parts of the board. So the front foot is not very important in the foot positioning. It is more of the back foot. And I'm going to get more in detail why the back foot has to have its toes hanging off on the edge of the board. I'm going to talk about that very soon, so stay tuned for that. And now let's get right into the first trick tutorial. First tip for the tray flip, you will have to be leaning forward over your board like this, kind of with your front shoulder leaning over your front foot. And this will allow you to keep the tray flip under you as your body and your weight will already be in the direction where the tray flip will be rotating to. And this is kind of similar for the shove it as you will have to jump in front of you in order to catch the board. So yeah, this is a very common problem when people are learning tray flips is that even though they are able to get the full rotation of the tray flip, they are never able to land on both feet. And that is because a lot of people, when learning the tray flip, they are putting all of their weight on the back foot and shifting all of their weight on the back because they think they will have more power to do the full rotation of the tray flip. But the problem is, as your body is leaning back and the tray flip is flipping forward in front of you, you will not be able to land on both feet on the board. And this is why you should lean forward and be ready to jump in front of you while keeping the board under you. And so that is all for the first tip, my first trick tip for the tray flip. We're going to get a few clips, try and slow-mo some shit so you understand more what I'm saying and then we'll get into the second tip ASAP. So see you guys. Okay, in this first clip, I just want you to take a look at my weight and my body, how it's already leaning forward, ready to jump in front of me. In this second clip, right before I pop, my body is already leaning forward in the direction of the tray flip, which causes the board to flip beneath me. And here's one last tray flip just for the boys. So here we are at our second trick tip, which is regarding the foot positioning of the back foot. As I said, the toes of your back foot has to be hanging out of the edge of the board, and this is where it comes important. Your back foot has to also have to be slightly tilted. Your back foot has to be angled in a certain way in order to flip the board correctly. And so I'm going to show it to you guys. Your back foot has to be not only with your toes hanging out, it will also have to be like this right before you pop the board. And this will also give the full rotation of the kickflip. Yeah, so here are a few still shots just so you can see the angle of my back foot. This one was a bit sketchy and here's another one. Yes, sir. The back foot for the tray flip is essential for this trick. The front foot barely does anything. Everything is in the scoop of the back foot. That's why you will need that angle and that tension on your toes from the back foot because the 360 shove is made by the back foot as well as I feel like 80% of the kickflip is also made by the back foot. The front foot will barely even touch or give a very gentle slight flick in order to complete the full rotation. But most of the tray flip is in your back foot and that is why the angle of your back foot is very important in this trick. So here's a great shot where you can see my tilted foot with only my toes putting tension on the board. And here's another angle where you can see there's only my toes that is going to do the full scoop of the tray flip. So yeah, that is all for my video. Thank you to everyone watching this video until the very end. I'm sure if you practice these two steps that I talked about in this video, you will get the tray flip very consistently very soon. So let me know in the comments what trick tutorial I should do next. I may be thinking of doing a grind trick as I just got this new ledge right here. Yes, sir. It just arrived about two weeks ago. So I might do some trick tutorial for ledge tricks. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And without further ado, see you guys soon. See you on the next video, guys. Peace out.